Hey guys, Clumsy here. We are continuing our exploration of Utah, but this time we are going heavy. Yeah, so our engine might not be the most powerful. Our transmission might not have a retarder, but we will do it anyway. So I added some flags, some uh, oversized load banners in there because we are making our way across and going to haul something on the heavier side of things for a challenge. It was by accident but it was the only job I saw that was going to the place I wanted to go. So let's check out the map for a bit. In the previous episode, we went ahead and uh, drove from Price, explored Salina went up to Provo, passed through Salt Lake City, Ogden, and uh, finally delivered, uh, what did he deliver? Logan, uh, a bulldozer to Logan. This time we are starting off in Ogden and we'll be making our way across to Vernal here. But we'll be passing through this quite interesting looking interstate here, this curving interstate, 84 and then 80, and then turning off to 40, 189 and then 191 but all with a very heavy stuff in mind now the gps seems to be confused it's wanting me to make, go around there but actually if you just turn left here it's a few blocks away to the rail export so hopefully that's just how i understand this let's see once we go outside here it might know oh, there we go now it knows where we are okay now it's not confused anymore so we are starting off early in the morning again. I'm hoping that this time it doesn't take us 12 hours to finish the job. And in reality, that might not be allowed. Right? I'm guessing there are certain restrictions in place as well for American truckers. Uh, probably, I don't know, only 8 hours on the road a day, something along those lines. Probably not 12 hours. But if you know the exact rules, let me know in the comments because I always forget it. I know you guys have been telling me that from time to time. European laws, North American laws. So let me know. Anyway, almost here. Everyone seems to be still sleeping. That's good. Because we will... Okay, then someone uh, actually woke up. Uh, because uh, we will actually be making quite a lot of ruckus here. That's a very nice street right there. Trees, lamps, and all the quite nice looking things. I think we will be passing through there, so no problem. Now, where is the entrance? Is it here? I think it's on this other side, okay. Seafood. This one is the entrance. our trailer I hope it's still here I hope no one has gotten it yet let's see there we go 38 tons all terrain crane Ogden to Vernal yeah it's going to be quite heavy our truck is not really up to speed here but we'll make it work somehow I hope I don't know we might have to cheat <laughs> I hope we don't need to the trailer is right there We'll go around here to pick it up. It's nice to see the variety of trailers here. We have some double trailers, looks like. But ours is that one. On the heavier side of things. Can't remember if we have to have our beacons on. Kind of makes sense. But we'll have a look. If this trailer has beacons at the back, we'll turn on our beacons as well. If it doesn't, then we don't need to. Some people might not like that blinking thing. Some people are more sensitive to the blinking stuff. Oh, I'm having trouble recently with this one. Although it seems like they fixed the bug though in 1.36 where the trailers are dropping when you get closer. Like they're floating initially and then they just drop. Does that work? I don't think so. Oh, it did! Oh, actually, wow, lucky! 
approaching at an angle and we still got it right. Nice. Lucky. Alright, let's see if we turn on our beacons here. Do we get beacons at the back as well? Not really. So I don't think we need to. Yeah, I'll just turn it off. Some people might not like the, the constant shining that you get like here. Yeah, it's a bit uh, inducing. You know how you get those warnings in movies when there's a lot of blinking involved. It's not everyone is capable of uh, interpreting those signals properly. Some are more sensitive than others. Might cause seizures and whatnot. So let's play on the safe side. Now, how do we get out of here? Can we... I guess here on the right side is where we should be going. And I should be very, very wary of that trailer. Because I don't think it will just follow me anywhere I go. Oh, dang it. That's going to be tight right there. Okay, turn as late as possible. Looking good right there. Awesome. Alright. I'm hoping that this trailer and the roads that we are passing through will have enough space for us. I'm hoping so because I have everything on default, so I'm expecting that whatever trailers they give us, we are legally allowed to haul and that the roads are capable of accepting and fitting them through. So I'm guessing if we ever screw up, it will be purely the driver's fault. <laughs> yeah, I'm putting myself in that position. It's not so heavy at the moment, but we're not uphill. And the fun starts when you're stuck uphill. I don't think we'll ever want to be in that situation though. Alright. Let's make our way through here. Kenworth W900. Speaking of trucks, there is a new truck on the ATS world. XPS has released his truck for ATS. I can't remember the name. Autoloader or something like that. Something like that sounds like Borderlands. It's a, I think it's a, it's a fairly classic truck that is used for heavy hauls. And I'd want to check it out when Utah releases and I'm allowed to have mods again in my profile. So we will go with a different profile when that happens on Thursday at the earliest. When Utah released, when Utah is released, we will go back to our modded profile and we will check out the uh, XPS's uh, autoloader or whatever it's called. Sorry if I got it wrong. The yeah, XPS is, has always been one of the prominent members of the trucking community because he makes such amazing truck mods from scratch of classic trucks in ETS2. Amazing modeling, perfect optimization just like SES quality. SES level of optimization, now that's saying a lot. The sounds, I think some of the sounds are not as good, but they're fine but then with all the modders around most of the time someone mods them either Krishboom or some other amazing member of the community modifies the sounds makes it even more realistic you can go there just taking up the entire space nice little town here a little town of Ogden looks very homey I like it. So the, the one we're hauling right now, it's not a special transport, so we don't have escorts and everything, but it is a heavy cargo. It is from the heavy cargo pack, separate DLC you can get. So you get stuff like this. Oh, that's heavy. Now I'm starting to feel the weight this 38 ton trailer. <clears throat> All right, off we go. We turn right here, but I will need to be very careful because I'm guessing we will get in the curb if I don't plan this properly. Okay, thank goodness it wasn't such a sharp turn. Very truck friendly, I might say. We did eat up the other lane though, but fine. 
But yeah, I was speaking about mods, and speaking about mods, there are some new things that I still have to try. I have been very focused in Utah, and probably will be so until the release. But after the release, I will probably get back into ETS2 and check out the new stuff there because uh, Krishbom has finished his Renault Range T version for the, his sounds. And we all know that Krishbom, when Krishbom releases something, you know it's good. And uh, the Renault Range T is something that everyone has been uh, uh, craving for in terms of sounds. We do have EVR's Renault Range T sounds, but those are really for uh, the Volvo FH that have just been retrofitted. This time, Krishmoon has something that has been recorded, I think. I think he actually did the recording, correct me if I'm wrong, from the real Renault Range T truck. And yeah, Krishmoon level sounds, always good and always free, so very accessible. So I want to try that. But in addition, we also have Grand Utopia 1.6 is now available. Now, Grand Utopia is a standalone map. It's my favorite standalone map. The best when it comes to sceneries, in my opinion, and in a lot of other people's opinions. So I will definitely check that out as well. I'll probably check both mods at the same time. Drive a Renault Range T with Crash Boom Sounds in Grand Utopia 1.6. That might be something for the stream. That might be something good. We'll see, we'll see. But yeah, lots of things up ahead for trucking fans. And chances are, if you're watching this video, you are a trucking fan. So stay tuned, and uh, yeah, we have a lot on, in store for you. Feels like Christmas already for the trucking community with all the stuff coming out. It's amazing. Beautiful sunrise here. Beautiful cliff rocks, cliff faces, loving those wrinkles. This is the curved highway that we were seeing. You see, it's uh, curving ever so slightly to the right, like so. But it's no problem, it's a very subtle curvature, so a very subtle bend. I don't, don't think we are in any danger of. That we need to, need to slow down at all, even with this heavy load. Chien. <clears throat> now, where do we go from here? Let me slow down a bit. Salt Lake City, that's not really where we're going. 35 miles, I saw a sign, but that's probably only for the exit. No, I think everybody is 35 miles here of the curve. There we go. Couple of unmodeled highways in here, so we are forced to take one route or the other. I must say I'm not I'm not displeased with that because that means it, I'm less likely to Oh crap, please don't make me stop in midway. Thank you. Well no thank you, but fine. that means less chances of getting lost oh by the way might be too late now but I should have done this before I started the detours let's make that into really a bare minimum not a huge fan of those Like it's it just me or does it feel like the sun is shining higher now when we unpost? Looks like we also have a rest area right here. What's interesting though is it's a rest area it says but I don't see a rest area sign on the map. So it might not be modeled in. Interesting. Have they forgotten about that one? Maybe that's one of the pending bugs. This is early access after all what I'm showing you. That's why it's not publicly released yet. There might be some bugs still. But that might be just a, a future improvement they could do. Let me just double check that in the map, okay? One sec, because my OCD is triggering. 
me see. Yeah, it's not really, there is no sign. Unlike if you go here, yeah, there is a rest area sign. I think there should be, because we saw some trucks in there. Unless they are discriminating against clumsy truck drivers. Clumsy truckers are not welcome here. Something along those lines. Okay, to the left is where we go. And we actually have a separate lane for it. Alright. We can go with that. Oh no, it's a bit hanging. Let's just slow down here. Maybe it's going to go green soon. Peace. Yes, no, maybe. No, not yet. Okay, fine. It's not really hanging. I'm going to go low gear anyway. Go trailer brakes and go. Alright, not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, nice view. Nice view. Can we take a screenshot here later? In the middle of the intersection. I think I like that. Beautiful. And we are off the interstate now. Entering 40 East and 189 South. One of those roads with confused identities. Or you can say maybe dual citizenship. <laughs> might be the more proper term for them. They might like that better than having than calling them with identity crisis roads. Oops. Ouch. Ah. Hitting my mic here. Alright, you can do it. Easy does it. And looks like we are going to enter Shordanel State Park. It's a nice little uh, cottage right there. Very nice. wonder if that's a hotel. Oh, this is beautiful. It's a bit foggy though, so we can't see much. Yeah, that looks really nice. By the way, let me show you, because I'm recording this right after the previous one and you might have voted already. Remember the Team Blur or Team uh, Shimmer? Let's go ahead and remove the blur and see if you like this one better. So remove the depth of field and you see more shimmer up ahead. So no more blur in the distance. Actually not bad in terms of shimmering as well. Maybe it depends on the surface. But yeah, I guess that can work, huh? I think I actually like that. Alright, so go and vote again and I, I promise I will read it before I record anything this time. <laughs> team Glimmer? A uh, Team Shimmer? Or Team Blur? Not Glimmer, okay, Shimmer. Team Shimmer or Team Blur? So down, I saw a sign. Open up my eyes. I saw the sign. Got that reference? Man, you old. <laughs> Just like me. Not so sure if we should be Jake breaking here. It does sound nice. So we'll go with it. What's nice though is this little town right here. A yummy restaurant. I believe it. I believe it. Very nice looking town. Make it through red light. Aha! Oi, 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 oi! What the heck is that guy doing? Wow. That lady sure seems to be in a hurry. Good thing I had my brakes ready. Defensive driving for the win. Port of entry, three fourths mile. Entry, entry into what? Um, I'm missing something here. Do we need fuel? Less than half fuel? Ah, we are very good. I think it's more cumbersome to try and uh, fit into that tight spot right there. Uh, what is this? Way station? Okay, we can bypass. Good. Thank you. I'm happy to hear that the beeps are not super loud anymore. So they fixed it in default. I remember the, the default beep was super loud. Glad to see that they fixed that already. Mm. 
is are, are cowbells a thing in the US? I remember when we were in Switzerland, cowbells were everywhere. It was like irritating to a point, but after a while, you kind of look for that sound and you kind of miss it. So I, I, I got uh, really accustomed to it and I really liked it. After a while, you grow into it. Are cowbells a thing as well for the US cows, or is that not in fashion in the US? I, don't, I didn't hear anything there. So maybe not. Forty-five. Forty-five, but this truck seems to be having a bit of trouble. So we'll give him some space. And we'll overtake instead. The nerve of us overtaking with a 38-ton trailer on our backs. But it seems like we are able to overtake to a certain extent. Look at that, professional. Very nice. Not sure if it's completely legal, but I think I think I think it should be fine. I mean, there were two lanes, and we were right in the fast lane. Man. But yeah, this landscape. Did you notice, guys? It's very different now. Instead of the usual barren or wrinkly cliff faces now you start seeing forests lots of trees very different feel this area i like it i like it i like the variety see rivers and trees and fjords and maybe not fjords i'm not even sure what a fjord is kind of like just like seeing it sounds like something you would hear from viking shows Maybe a river is a fjord? I don't know. We let it be. Alright, so no depth of field. I think I actually like it. So thank you guys for the recommendation. Actually looks better without the shimmering. I think. We'll see later. Because so far what we've been seeing in the distance are mountains, hills. So we don't really see it that negative effect so much but when the things in the distance are walls buildings the shimmery stuff shimmery materials you might not like it so much we'll see we'll see we'll observe it probably depends Very much like this route though. Very spacious, very country-esque, and yeah, not as barren as the other areas. New area, one mile. Ooh, can we go there? Not sure if our trailer would fit, but we can drop this off somewhere and uh, maybe uh, just pick it up then afterwards. I don't know. Ooh, hoo, 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 yo, 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 beautiful. Now that's the thumbnail, right? There, for show. You guys might know me. I'm a huge fan of bridge shots, so that's definitely one thing that I would like. All right, let's try and see if we can fit this in, this trailer in. Probably not the best. Probably not the smartest idea I've had. But I was lazy to detach a trailer, because that means I will have to reattach to it after some time. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Looks like some guys taking some photos there, selfies with this eye pair. <laughs> Why are you taking a selfie on the wrong side of the? Maybe he's not taking a selfie. Maybe he's vlogging or something. All right, here we go. Oh, a perfect view of the bridge right there. Let me save here. I'll take a screenshot later. Let me go to external view so you guys can see as well. How beautiful and picturesque this is. 
Oh yeah. So we can either take a shot on the bridge while we were on the bridge or right here with a view. I think this one with a view wins, hands down. And looks like we have enough space to turn this around, so win, 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 win. Amazing. Oh, having the curve though. No one saw that. Beautiful. That's a nice cozy area. Do we get any AI cars in here though? I wish we would. That would be more realistic, like going around or parking even. That would really add to the realism. I haven't seen anything yet though. It really depends. I, I saw, I remember some rest areas like this. Some viewpoints like this in the other states. In Oregon I think that was, or was it in Washington? Uh, that there were some people actually some AI cars driving past and even parking, if I remember correctly. Thank you. <laughs> the guys might be getting confused. Why the heck is there a huge truck with an all-terrain crane pulling out from that viewpoint? Doesn't fit. Doesn't fit the scene. No judging. You do you. And you let me do me. Isn't that the in phrase nowadays? You do you. Yeah. Makes a lot of sense though. Let's stop judging others and just enjoy life. Strawberry River? Did I read that right? Not seeing any strawberries. I wonder what the deal is. And that is nice. Oh, how do you read that? Duchess and Lose City. Duchess City. Very nice welcome signs. Custom welcome signs. Slow down. Jake breaking in a school zone. might not appreciate that very much sorry about that but it helps with my fuel let's overtake this guy look at those uh oh those are flags i thought those were like christmas songs <laughs> with the uh, u.s flag uh... oh skin what the heck was that guy did you see what the heck is that ai logic all about now I'm sure that was not any fault of my own. I'm 100% sure. I know I make a lot of mistakes, but that one definitely was not me. That AI car should have stopped. Ooh, nice plane. And we, we, we had to pay for it. Dang it. What is this one? It says historical marker. Anyone familiar with that? Dutchin County. <clears throat> that was the loan repayment. City office and welcome center. Looks cozy. It looks like there's someone flying. Maybe there's a flying school here somewhere. Is there an airport nearby? Oh man, the view from above there. That would have been so amazing. Maybe we can fly through here and explain. I'll download some ortho photo scenery, some satellite imagery, and we can fly through, fly past this area. America's finest. good. Very different landscape from the usual Utah we would expect. Hmm. 65 here, huh? Not that 
do they ever reach that speed? But uh, good to know. Good to know. Slow down a bit here. Just cruise along. Steady steering. There we go. That's more like it. That's more like it. Perfect. Very subtle bend. I think we'll get over the hill soon. There we go. Alright. Man, everywhere you look is just amazing, huh? And yeah, I think I'm liking the no depth of field, even with the city in the distance. Some buildings in there. There might be a little more shimmering, but overall it is much nicer than always having some blurriness in there. I think I myself am part of Team Shimmer now. But if you guys disagree, let me know in the comments. But please disagree in a very civil manner, right? Oh, dang it! Why did I not see that? I don't know, this slipped my mind. Sorry! And this is why we're not earning so much money. We are spending, like, the penalties are, are, are a line item on the expenses. It's an expected part of the expense. <laughs> yeah, it's not something that is accidental, it is uh, expected. Did it say Yunta River? Yunta? Interesting. Forward. We're not. There is a truck behind me who is thinking of overtaking. I think he has plans. We have to be very careful with him. He seems like the aggressive type. I don't think I'm giving him much space though. Oh, we are here already. Nice. 45 here. But yeah, I absolutely love the signage. You have as much of a heads up as possible with all the speed limit changes. And it's very easy to not be speeding. Yeah, I, I've gotten a lot of penalties. But speeding is not one of them because the the signs have been so good you get all these early warnings about speed changes and you always know what the speed limit is in each road and that's all thanks to the amazing signage Still not getting penalized for cheek breaking though. <laughs> They're probably hating on me now. Very nice roads. Okay, let's not use any cheek brakes here. At the expense of more wear on our service brakes. Fine. Greyhound. Farland. AKA Greyhound. Cobble Rock Park. I wonder if that's a real thing. It looks quite real, like it looks really, it looks unique. I'm not sure if that was just imagined or it's something that is really in here in this town of, what is this place? Vernal. Vernal Avenue.
know, I'm still confused. Like, street names have so many suffixes. Avenue, Boulevard, Street. And I heard that there could be like a rule on how you name each one, but I'm not sure if it's really enforced or if it's really followed. For now, trading post. A Native American there. That's cool. I like that. <laughs> Is that a dinosaur I'm seeing up ahead? Goodness, from a Native American to a dinosaur. And is that a just a piece of rock or is that a woolly mammoth? It is a mammoth. And these are dinosaurs, stegosaurs, or I don't know the name. But this is Barney right here on the left. <laughs> oh, maybe not. <laughs> maybe that's uh, Nessie. I don't know. Who the heck are you? Pernal Utah's dinosaur land. Ah, I didn't know. She seems very friendly. I think it's a she. She's pink and she has lots of uh, eyelashes. Very large eyelashes. Cool. I didn't know this is the dinosaur land. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Okay, this is us. Let's take up all the space we need. Make sure we don't crash at the last possible moment. Yeah, looks like it is. So we make a U-turn, interesting layout. And then we drop it off somewhere there. I guess this is HMS we're delivering to? Yes, indeed, so that was there. But it has such a large area here that it actually has its own road in the map. Interesting. Is this us? Yeah, this is us. Oh, wrong key. Oh, crap. Okay, good. Alright, where do you guys want this? Mm, let's see. Look for the shining thingy. There it is. Okay, just. Uh, Visual straight in. <laughs> 50, 40, 30, 20. Retard. Perfect landing. <laughs> Too much explain, maybe. Alright. Here we go. Perfect parking. Because it's just straight. Well, that's something I can handle. Well, look at the fuel we have. we we'll almost run out. I thought this should be heavy. Four out of nine? Ooh, leveled up. Nice. And we actually earned 11.5 there. You got a lot of penalties on the way, but the job itself, excelente. 100%. No penalties whatsoever and not late for a change. There we go. Ooh. Hmm, 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 hmm. Fuel economy is something I would want, but I think we also need to get these guys and long distance probably. But we're not really doing that here in this profile. So hazardous cargo I would take just for more unlocked uh, jobs. Alright. Alright guys, so that's it for this episode. Much shorter than the others. Hope you still enjoyed though. Please don't forget hit the thumbs up, hit the like button if you did like it. And looking forward to your comments as always. Share it with your friends, subscribe, hit the bell icon and all that stuff, alright? Stay tuned for one more video. Utah video. We'll see what we find tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Clumsy trucking. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.